everyone. Okay, I'm back. As I promised, uh, as I promised, today we are going to connect to your database from the UE application. Okay, first we'll go connect to your database. Let's go create a database. Let's go to the local host PHP my admin. You can use another program. Fine. Let's create a database. Publish. Okay, database. Let's say the database name is demo. And okay, let's just say it says always UTF-8. Always UTF-8. UTF-8 general TI. Click and create. Okay, we have created our database. Now let's create a simple table user rules table. Let's we have three columns actually. Three columns in that. First is the ID. Second is the username. Gotcha. Max length is two characters and password. Since we are going to use MD5, since we are going to use MD5, that is 32, I think. The length is. I'm not sure. Hmm. We'll see what happens. Auto increment there. The ID is paid. Okay, we have created our database again. We have created our table. Next, what we have to do is we have to connect to this, connect to this database through this through that page. As you can see, we are right. We have created our demo application. We have now what we have to do is go on to the config file. That is located in the project head folder and config folder and click on the main run PHP. As you can see there are some information that we can change. We can say okay we can change let's for fun change the name of our web application to learning ye with donate ye. That's our company name so learning e with doing it easy okay we'll refresh and see what happens okay see what happens it's changed the name of the application learning e with doing it easy hmm. now what do why did we come here we came here to create our database connection okay now it's pretty simple actually uncomment the following to use a mysql database so we are using the mysql database so the e uses the PDO way to connect to a database, the best way actually to connect to a database and handle a database. So we'll uncomment this first of all. So our local host is localhost. What is our database name? Mm, let's go and check. Okay, demo is the database name. So we'll add the demo. Okay, database demo is name is demo. The username is root and my password is root as well. Control S to save. Okay, now we are connected to the database with this application. So what we can, let's make sure that we connected properly. To do that, I'll simply insert some database use table. Let's say cost username is equal to and the password is equal again to okay okay let's go to browse okay username is equal uh, and password is equal now we'll try to retrieve this information from the e application okay i know i'm not going to create a database a login system in this but uh, not in this I said I will create a database login system, but I can't create it. It's going to take some time. So first connect to the database and we'll retrieve some data from that database. Okay. Eclipse, let's move on to the index file. Let's go to the BIOS file, BIOS folder and site index. So this is the view file. This is actually a view file. M, uh, v framework follows the MDC architecture so 
this is the wave file mm -hmm. so this is what we are seeing right here let's remove this and save control s to save and check it again okay everything is gone so so what i'm going here i'm going what i'm going to do is yeah what i'm going to do is get some data from the database and make sure that we are connected to the database correctly okay let's see let's take the username okay because so this is going to be kind of complicated because you don't know about active records and you don't know about static methods and and some of the functions that we use in the to retrieve data so don't think too much just bear with me uh, okay before that before this we need to create a model for the table that we created for the users table we have to create a model file to do that we have to enable G so to enable G go to the main.php unconnect the following to enable the G tool okay but G G is a module which enables us to create models controllers views forms actually everything uh, most of all most of the code the actually it's a code generation module which we can use to generate code so what we are going to do is go on to uh, sorry first mm, let's change the password to root and control s to save and let's go on to this module to go on to this module we have to index.php question mark r equal g okay press enter so we are type in the password and the module generate okay so we have to type in the table name in the database okay our table name is user so we create users simple as that as you can see it automatically the reader reads the our database and finds out the table names okay this is the class that we are going to create it's active record class and this class enables us to interact easily simply and effectively and efficiently <laughs> effectively efficiently with the database securely securely as securely as well so we'll preview this okay this is the users php file that we are going to create we will generate that now let's go on and take a look at that file now it's been created in the you have to go to the models folder in the protected folder there is a models folder in that models folder there has to be our newly created users.php where is it go to the eclipse is not showing me that file hmm will directly go to that file yeah okay well demo protected file models folder see this is our users.php file so i'm going to drag this file and drag this file over to eclipse so um, this is the basic. This is a, this is a, this is the class extends from Active Record. I'll further explain about Active Records on a later on an episode lesson. So hmm, now what we started here, we came here to just retrieve some data from the database. So we'll do that. So what here we are going to create? We are going to call users class. So users class is this class actually here is the class name users we are going to call that we are going to call a static method module we are going to call this function here as you can see it's a static function so we can use the scope resolution and create call this function and we uh, there is a function called find all in the in the active records class so it's pretty simple you call the users class you call its 
model then you call find all function what this does is get all the records in the users table and put them into this users table users variable we have assigned that to the users variable so we'll just print r and check what is in this in in this variable so hopefully we want to see the color of username and the password that so we'll move on to the index file okay there you see you can see it returns active record object here is the username with color it is control use use the source or users object it is an active record here is the username and the password pretty simple right okay now we are pretty sure that we have connected the database okay and we have some retrieved some data from that database okay in the next lesson i'm going to further explain to you about uh, the routes in a ye frame ye application how the routing happens how the mdp architecture is implemented in ye and we'll create some more tables we'll create some more models and we'll we'll actually create a product application actually a simple product application where we can insert some data in a form uh, to the table okay that's it for today i know it's kind of a long lesson but that's that so what we have done today is we have simply com configured our mm, configured our main.php to enable us to enable us to access a database we now know a little bit of about the g module and what we can do with that uh, and next we know how to create a model we know how to access its records simply okay in the next lesson we'll do something more about models more about controllers more about views so basically the mdc architecture we'll talk about that and let's see how ye works he has implemented that okay see you next time then thank you very much for watching watching subscribe